And still talking about Africa, massive protests were held across the Republic of Tunisia against the president, who is accused of stifling union rights and worsening economic situation. The protest is yet another chapter in the tensions between the president and a powerful trade union in the country. The protests, which took place on Saturday, were held in eight cities. Thousands of members of Tunisian General Labour Union took to the streets, where they raised banners and chanted slogans. Demonstrators in the city of Safax, where the largest protest took place, chanted Tunisia is not for sale and no to removing subsidies. Some raised loaves of bread in a symbol of protest at soaring living costs. But the rising economic costs is not the only problem of this union. It has accused President Kai Saied of trying to muffle basic freedoms, including union rights. This comes after several anti-government figures, including politicians, journalists, two judges, and even a senior UGTT official, were arrested. The coordinated arrests have raised fears of wider crackdown on dissent and prompted the United Nations Human Rights Office to call for the detainees' immediate release. The protesters, too, demanded immediate release of the senior UGT official, Anis Kabi, who was arrested late last month following a strike by tall barrier workers. The union described his arrest as a blow to union work and a violation of union rights. Trade unionists are being targeted. Putting trade unionists in jail, falsifying cases, arrests and similar actions suggest that the authorities are seeking to silence the Tunisian General Labour Union. The North African nation is heavily indebted and import dependent. It is in drawn out talks with the International Monetary Fund for a bailout loan. UGWT or UGTT has warned that this could entail painful austerity measures. Protests also took place in the cities of Jenduba, Toja, Monastir, Bizerte, Kasserin, Kayaron, and Nabul. More demonstrations are planned in the coming days. The latest protests come a year and a half after President Syed sacked the government and seized almost total power. His opponents call the move a coup and accuse him of dragging the country back into authoritarianism. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.